Seekers. Secure, man. What an interesting pair. Say what's up. Say what's up, big fella. Oh, jeez. That was a big one. Say what's up, girl. Just wanted to thank you for everyone that bought a t-shirt. Literally the last few days, just been packing up orders. It's been absolutely insane, but pretty much almost everything is gone. I think there might be like maybe four different t-shirts left. Like literally four, the number four. Maybe two hoodies. So much love, y'all. Just wanna thank you for that little pro tip, man. Look at these beautiful homes. You know what I'm saying? Just been going on walks every day. I'm trying to clear my mind, bro. It's crazy how like uh, vital a walk is. You know, no music, nothing. Just casually, you know, walking and being bored. Letting yourself really think. So it's been cool, bro. Hope to get one of these houses one day. But yeah, man, I just want to thank you guys and hope you enjoy the vlog, man. I'm about to go pick up some shoes. It's been a minute. So this is all these bags are full of orders right here. Blah 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 blah. And there's tons more. So if you did order anything, stay tuned. I'm still shipping everything out. I need a team, man. That was a lot of work getting the packages out, but forgot my wallet man this is crazy to think about like you know i forgot my wallet and i was going to the store and i'm like damn but i forgot they tell you apple pay it's kind of crazy to think like we're gonna get to a a time where you literally your phone has all your information which is like super dope just to be minimal wise but also very scary you know what i'm saying like someone could steal your phone and like all your information is on there so i just wonder how far we're gonna go i usually only put credit cards on my phone because if someone steals it it's like you stole a credit card, good for you. Like covered, not tripping. Advice, man. Anywhere you go, if you don't have a credit card, credit quad, if you don't have a credit quad, you won't be able, everywhere you go, bro, use a credit card, man. You're using the bank's money, you're not using your own. If someone steals your debit card, they have access to all your funds, you know what I'm saying? If you use a credit card, you're safe. You scan it and just pay it every day, bro. Pay it every other day. Pay it as soon as things get posted, you know what I'm saying? Just don't give access or people access to your debit, so word of advice but you know some little food things uh i need to show y'all the food network more because we always eating phenomenal over here uh i just got i went to h mart you know we got some steak for the one time little korean barbecue session i got like the whole setup to do korean barbecue i'm gonna do a mukbang bro ask me some questions down below i'll do a mukbang on my uh vlog channel but also got some chili paste you know what i'm saying we like it spicy around here Got some sriracha, man. I've really been hitting the, the pho spot. If you're in Denver, make sure you go to pho okay, okay? Place is stupid. So delicious. Um, and then I love H Mart's. I got a yellow onion. I'm about to make some caramelized onions for my filet mignon dinner tonight. Um, we got some zucchini for the side. You know, we're going to roast up some zucchini. Yes, sir. And then some jalapenos, bro. I just like to eat jalapenos. I got a whole new computer set up on the way. I'm super excited. I'm going to do some tech videos for y'all so you can see. But the new Mac is on the way. Got the keyboard, got the mouse, just waiting on the other two to be here hopefully next week or at the end of the month. And then some skincare, man. If you guys are into skincare, we got some Tej Hanley for all y'all men. Take care of your face. Um, I'll put my link down below and you guys can go check this out. This is a sponsorship that I got coming here soon, but... I just got this in and you know we got some morning facial moisturizer some scrub yeah we'll talk about this in an integration i'm gonna use it but just got that other thing that i'm geeked to show you guys is a glow forge machine so basically it engraves phones tablets i'm gonna do a bunch of stuff i'm gonna have these fire apple watch bands coming soon but check this out picture of me and mary it's a little off center we're still trying to learn how to use it but another little business venture that I'm really excited for. I engraved the shoe on here. So pretty dope. Your boy really just been trying to optimize his life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the secret to success and just easier, convenient life is just setting things in place to make your life easier, whether it's you know, cleaning the house at night to make sure when you wake up, you walk out to a clean house or making your bed or, you know, I don't know, bro. There's just so many different automation things that I've been working on. So I'm just trying to make everything simpler. Fitness, 
down, you know, it was like 215, down to like 202. Goal weight is 180, so I'm um, working on that too. Another fun thing I got for you guys that we'll talk about, but on so many different little journeys in life, bro, I just think it's going to be a really good year, and you know, I'm just working towards all that stuff, but let's go pick these shoes up, man. I'm about to head to downtown Denver. Let's go. Sneakers. Secure, man. What an interesting pair. Mary, not a fan? Hmm. Suede material, bronze. Good quality. I mean, you do wear colors like this. You wear black. You're not a brown what? Brown girl. Yes, you're a Caucasian, my brother. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the office, man. So I'm actually redoing my whole office. I'm gonna change the whole th setup. It's pretty fire right now, I ain't gonna hold you, but we're gonna change it up a little bit, man. I can't wait, I'm gonna get another standing desk back there. Gonna have this fire setup. I don't know what it is, bro. It's like, you just constantly keep evolving your setup as a YouTuber and just your man cave, you know what I'm saying? You just want it to always be different. It just gets boring, so changing it up but anyway let's get into these patina yeah something along those lines it is the air jordan one i know rust shadow patina and i tried to look more into the history of the shoe like why is it called patina but i couldn't find that you know nike goes on to explain it's kind of a hybrid you know obviously we have the biohack which we'll open up the box shout out to soul street for holding me down on these anyway i uh, would have showed you guys more of should have vlogged a little bit more but I just kind of wanted to talk about these because I did not see, yes, they sold out. You know, everything is selling out these days, right? There's really no such thing as a GR in the last year or so, right? Everything, anything and everything that is Jordan sells out, right? It's crazy. But Patina colorway, obviously it seems like they mimicked the biohack, you know, that released last year, which really interesting tongue and that's what correlates with the laces so we have that kind of mint green tiffany blue whatever you want to call it and this beautiful shadow which we gotta love can't wait for those reverse shadows to come out i think like next week and then we have this kind of copper element which seeing these in person versus all the images i'm assuming all the pairs are different because a lot of the online pictures and even videos that i've seen the rust element right or the bronze is very like hmm, what's the word for it? it's colorful like this whole panel is bronze but as you guys can see with mine it's actually faded most of the bronze is right here and this kind of reminds me of the lance mountain sb so i do wonder if that bronze will wear off with some wear or not but i will say i didn't really see much hype behind these um i thought it was a pretty cool unique sneaker um, I like when they kind of do the hybrid sometimes and this just looks really interesting to me very intriguing especially you know wearing like a simple fit uh, black jeans just murdered out honestly with these essentially a statement piece you're wearing the Jordan ones but you also have this bronze that just kind of hits different so I did like the element of that and I love the touch of suede that they did rather than just that tumbled leather and here is another shoe that is just so random and they put that really nice just soft leather on these i hate you know like a pair of 2013 like royal ones it has a very nasty like hard leather or even that leather that you leave in the box for too long you know a lot of people are having this problem with the bread ones and you take them out of the box and they have like this coating on them because they're meant to be worn that material i absolutely hate but this just so buttery i love the way it feels i honestly think these are really cool i that's the whole reason i picked them up uh obviously i love to give you guys early reviews to kind of give you my opinions you know like off rip before the shoe actually comes out but i mean i like these uh let me know if you guys hit on them and if you picked them up this is a pair that i think i'll actually wear i don't really like the biohack tag like that is my one complaint if they could have just got rid of this it would have made the shoe that much better they really that just kind of like oh man what's the word it just makes it kind of kiddish you know what i'm saying going from more like of a mature element so if you know your shadow gray your beautiful leather and just kind of that rustic uh, bronze gives it that mature vibe but then the tongue hits it and it's just kind of a little girly a little you know kiddish in my opinion 
which is nothing wrong with that. Uh, you can definitely style these in an easy way of just wearing all black and then having a t-shirt or any little element of this color. But I personally don't like it. Like it would have been a lot cooler if maybe they would have just made the tag straight black or yeah, honestly, like white, anything else. Like the shoe looks so good from the side. And even I'm looking in the camera of this video, the shoe doesn't really look that good, but I think in person, I'm a big fan of these. Now I will say, man, this is just another Jordan 1. If you missed out on these, you didn't miss out on much. This is one of those shoes that if you got for retail, cool, leave it at that. Do not pay resale for this, bro. Like it's not worth it in my opinion whatsoever. Really, most of these shoes aren't worth resale. Always be aware of that, but I will say, man, very good quality, like a good shoe. Hopefully we can see some restocks down the line. I would imagine just because, I mean, there's nothing spectacular about this shoe. If you like it, you like it. I personally don't think it's worth paying anymore. You know, even back before this whole craze happened, I feel like this is a shoe that we potentially see in the outlets. And that, that's just my opinion. You know, it might not be true, it might not happen, but that's just kind of how I see these. So what do you guys think, man? Rustic Shadow or Rust Shadow Patina? Jordan 1, are you a fan? Is this a cop or a drop? Let me know down below in the comments. Once I decide to break these out, I'll probably um, put up a review and kind of an on foot. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you guys for watching, man. Hope you enjoyed kind of a little vlog concept. I want to show you what's going on, bro. Kind of what I do on the daily, you know what I mean? We just over here working, bro. Like any way possible. Also, um, if you guys could follow me on Instagram or even just hit the thumbs up on this video, that would be excellente premium. But this is your boy Sneaker Life, man. I'll catch you in the next one. Win it. Hey, it's Jimmy.